Hey, in this drill, we're working foot pronation under control, foot supination, and then a calf raise in a supinated position. So that's a lot of terms here, but what we're gonna do is take probably two mini bands. Um, I want a, quite a bit of tension, so two of your heavier mini bands are on the ankles, feet about shoulder width apart, and your feet straight or parallel. From there, before you do anything, I want you to feel the ball of your foot and your big toe on the ground, along with you'll feel the inner side of your heel. You're then just gonna relax everything and feel how the bands pull your feet inward. Make sure that you don't start towing out as you do this, but feet there. So the bands, if I just relax, are pulling me in. I then wanna keep my ball of the foot and big toe grounded, but resist against the bands. And so this is a vague cue, but everybody goes at this a different way and how they do it. But I wanna resist the bands and lift the arch of my foot while keeping the, your ball of your foot on the ground and then come back down. You're gonna lift, back down. You should feel some work in the foot through the arch and maybe the inside of the shin and lower leg and then relax. Once you get that, you're gonna hold that upward position. This is called supination and you're gonna do a double leg calf raise and then come back down and relax. Throughout that double leg calf raise, you wanna keep tension on the band. If you need something to help you with balance at first, that's okay. So you're gonna collapse, that's pronation. You're gonna do that under control. Then you're gonna reverse it, make an arch, keeping the ball of your foot on the ground. So you don't wanna roll the ankle. And then you're gonna come up into a calf raise, feeling the ball of the foot, big toe on the ground, but the entire time as you do this calf raise, you wanna make sure the band doesn't eat, win, because then your heels will come in, you'll rotate out. I'm gonna come collapse, create an arch, come up into a calf raise, back down with control, with control, let the band come back to a relaxed position. Make an arch, you might notice that my entire leg starts to rotate and then I'm gonna come up on my toes, back down with control, back in. So this should be, if you're doing it right, fairly challenging from both a stability perspective, but then getting these muscles on the inside of the shin and the foot working. Then as you pull the band off and go to walk, just being aware as your foot lands and you come to what's called mid stance, you wanna be able to create that stability through the foot and keep it all through this toe off position. So give that a shot, should help how your feet and ankles feel.